Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome back to another round of phonics. Again, we're looking at the R controlled vowel, O-R. And for these set of words, the O-R is saying or. What's it saying? Or. What's it saying? Or. And this is day three, which means now we're starting to let go of some of those scaffolds. We're not doing sound by sound. We're going to try our best to do sound by sound in our head and be able to blend each syllable out. Okay, so we're gonna try our best to blend each syllable out and then say whole word. Here we go. Line one, teachers ready? Three, two, one. Border. 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 Next word. Former. 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 Next one. Corner. 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 Last word. Order. 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 We read for fluidity. Three, two, one. Order. Order. Former. Order. Corner. And order. order. And give me a thumb to your chest when you've noticed something within that line that they have the same or similar. Ms. Yakimoch, can you start us off? What did you notice? I noticed that they all have the OR. Um, or in the first syllable. Yes, yeah, so you'll notice that we have OR in the first syllable. Anything else that you may have noticed or would like to add in your findings? Ms. Hernandez, what did you find? I noticed that they also have the ER at the end of each word. Yes, and we studied that uh, two weeks ago. Last week was AR, and two weeks ago there we studied the ER, but ER was not the only spelling that went with er. Do you remember the other two? Who can I R and U R. Yes, thank you, Ms. Hernandez. The I R and the U R. There are three spellings for that. All right. Anything else that you may have noticed? So, O R in the first syllable, E R in the last syllable. Yes, Miss T. They're all two syllable words. Yes, two syllable words. All right. Let's move on to that next line. Ready? Remember, blending in your head and saying it out loud. Three, two, one. Glory, 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 story, savory. Oh, wow, that was tricky, but you were able to hold your own. And it does help to see this visual to see where you're going to blend. All right, mm -hmm. teachers, thumb to your chest when you realize what pattern we're working with here. Yes, Miss uh, T, start us off. I see the ORI sound, so <gasps> O-R-Y. Yes, I thought you were going to get tricked. I really did. I thought that you were going to say that it was just the O-R instead of the O-R-Y, and boys and girls, it's okay if you didn't catch that, Ms. Uh, Ms. T pointed that out for you. Anything else that you may have noticed? Yes, Ms. Hernandez. That Y at the end makes an E sound. Mm -hmm. Yes, when we're looking at more than one syllable, that Y at the end is an E sound, all right? Anything else that you may have noticed? Yes, Ms. T. They're Two syllable, or maybe more than one syllable word. Because yes. <laughs> I like how you fixed that. You're right. <laughs> They're multisyllabic words, more than one syllable. Something I was going to point out. What do we call an st? A blend. Yes. What kind of blend? S blend. An s blend or a consonant blend. Mm -hmm. When we have two consonants together. Let's jump to line three. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Or 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 Nate or Nate or or bits or bits. Here we go. Or fan or or fan. Hmm. We read for fluidity. Three, two, one. Or needle or Nate. Or 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 Hmm. Thumb to your chest, teachers, when you've realized the pattern. Mm. Yes, Ms. Hernandez, start us off. They all have the O-R in the first syllable. 
Yes. And it's actually the only thing that exists in that syllable. So in that first syllable, we have the O-R um, sound spelled O, I mean, the OR spelled O-R. Anything else that you may have noticed? What's so special about that P-H? Are you seeing that? Yes, Missy Kimowich. It's a digraph, which means oh. that it's two letters that make one sound. Yes, and what sound is this making? Yes, sound, boys and girls, it's making the F sound. Very good, Miss T. All right, we're down here now. Remember, this is where we play the role of word detectives, and we're trying to find the number of words that have the OR sound in it, okay? So let's go ahead and look for that. Th uh, not thumb to your chest, fingers to your chest. Remember, boys and girls, hit that pause button. Try to be that detective. Figure it out, teachers, when you're ready. Wow, five words. Let's see if that's true. Um, start us off, Miss T. Which word did you notice? Former. Former. Miss Yakimowicz. Orphan. Orphan. Miss Hernandez. Glory. Cool. Oh, that's right. Glory. <laughs> I noticed three. Did you find any more? Okay, Miss Yakimowicz, I see you nodding your head. Story. Story and Miss T. Form. Form. Very nice. Wow. We have our hands full here. We have a lot of words that we're going to hear our teachers model for you. Okay, so teachers, ready? Model the, the word re being read. Former. Former. Orphan. orphan glory, glory. Story. Glory, form. form. Beautiful. So again, Former, orphan, glory, story, and form. Teachers already modeled for you students, so now it's your turn to read this back. Ready, teachers, when you're ready, thumb to your chest. Three, two, one. The former orphan had his glory story to do more. Missy Kimowich, can you reread that for fluidity? The former orphan had his glory story to form. And Ms. T, can you go ahead and scoop it out for us? The former orphan had his glory story to form. Yes, and you know what time it is, Ms. Hernandez. Is it decoding time? No, it's encoding time. Wow, I'm loving that. Yes, it is encoding time. And boys and girls, remember, hit that pause button if you need it, the scaffold. Again, you don't have to go ahead and hit that pause button if you feel comfortable already and would like a challenge, you can go ahead and just follow along as I say or dictate the word for you. Teachers, thumb to your chest when you're ready. Notice how we're working those syllables, two syllables, three and three. Good luck, teachers, and good luck, students. Here we go. First word is porter. What's the word? Porter. porter. Here we go. P or pour. T er ter. Porter. Go ahead and show me. Yes, beautiful job. And I'm just going to hint it out for the, the students at home. When you hear the er sound at, at the final uh, part of the word, it tends to be er. So when we're looking at the spellings, er first, then ir, then ur is the order. Ready? Here we go. Next word. For, yeah, sorry. Forest. What's the word? Forest. Here we go. F or for est. Est. F or est. Forest. Show me. Beautiful job. Correct. Next word. Northern. Northern. What's the word? Northern. Northern. Mm, or nor. Watch it too. Er. Mm. Oh, that was a double there. Ready? Mm, or er, mm, show me, teachers. Yes, you have the T-H and the E-R correct. Let's go. The next word is thorax. What is it? Thorax. Or thorax. Or ax. Thorax. Show me, teachers. Beautiful job. That last letter is what? X. X. Be careful. We when we're spelling the the x, 
there's two sounds that have um, that are in there, the C and the K. But when we spell it, it's an X. All right, here we go. Last uh, next step. The word is armory. What's the word? Armory. armory. Here we go. R M mm, or more E. R M mm, or E. Armory. Show me. Yes, correct. Here we go. Pre-order. What's the word? Pre-order. Pre-order. Pre -or -de -er -de. Take that rule. Remember. P -er -e. Pre or d er. Sorry about that. Go ahead and show me, teachers. Yes, you're looking at the E, the O, and the E are there. Beautiful. Last word on the set here is recorder. What's the word? Re recorder. recorder. Re, re, k, or, core, d, er, der. Re, e, k, or, d, er. Recorder. Show me, teachers. Wonderful, wonderful. Keep it up. Last set here. The word is tornado. What's the word? Tornado. Or tor. N a n a d o do. Or n a d o. Tornado. Show me. A lot of open vowels there. Yes, you have it correct. Here we go. Next one. Reporter. What's the word? Reporter. E re p or poor. Er, ter, reporter. Show me. Wonderful. Keep it up. Here we go. Next one. The word is three syllables. Porcupine. What's the word? Porcupine. Here we go. P or por k u q p i n. P or k u p i n. Porcupine. Show me. Yes, I blanky there, I blanky, and that's a U. Okay, teachers, here we go. Remember, students, this is a time for that sentence. If you need the scaffold, go ahead and hit the pause button on the YouTube video, write it down. If you don't need the scaffold, go ahead and uh, wait for the teachers to be ready. Thumb to your chest, teachers, when you're ready, and let's get started. Ready? The reporter, what's the word? Reporter. Mm -hmm. re, re or port er ter reporter reported what's the word reported here we go e re p ort port ed ed report ed all right next line on the tornado what's the word Tornado. tornado t or tor n a n a d o tornado and the last word is ordeal what's the word ordeal or d e o or d e o ordeal so again the sentence is the reporter reported on the tornado ordeal teacher show me the, the work Wonderful, wonderful job. Double pat yourselves on the back, on the shoulders. Job well done, boys and girls. Remember to tune in again for another round of phonics. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back again. Bye. Bye.